Welcome VV family. Join me as I discuss why I think the Todd McFarlane Batman is serious undervalued. In this video I'll be going over what Todd McFarlane is, reasons why I think it's undervalued and potential predictions for what it could be worth in the future. So first of all, for you that don't know, the Todd McFarlane Batman was the very first NFT on VV. It is a common, there was only 7,500 editions and it's the first appearance of the iconic Batman. Now just for that thing in for a moment there, the first appearance Batman and the first appearance, oh sorry, first ever NFT on VV. And even if you go back to Reddit back eight months, people were asking and discussing that very question about it being the very first NFT on the platform. And as even back then people were saying it's going to be huge. So I did a quick check of the app today. And at the moment, the Todd McFarlane Batman is sitting at around about 7 to 8k gems. So quite high, obviously a lot more than the original price here when it first dropped as part of this series. I think back then it was 90 gems to pick it up back in December. And obviously astronomical, you know, 100x or more already in a space of what's that, uh, just over a year. So a, a huge uh, investment and a huge um, opportunity to grow there in that year it's been. But why do I think it's undervalued at that 7k, you know, 100x, and I still think it's undervalued? Well, let me do a wee bit of deep dive in a bit of the history of NFTs in general. And in particular, I found this article on Crypto Potato. The link is in the description to this video. Uh, this is talking about these Ether Rocks being sold recently on ETH and other platforms like OpenSea uh, and how much they're going for. So these are just simple JPEGs of rocks. People at the time on the website said nothing of value here in terms of utility or usability. It's just something to own. But if we actually look at the recent sales for it, um, they're now going for over hundreds of thousands. Here's one here going for over 800,000, uh, half a million. Just a, a huge amount being made there. From the original price, I believe, of um, you know $300 at the time it first came out. And the reason why so many people are buying into these Ethrox is because they are the ve one of the very first NFTs of popularity out there. So after CryptoPunks, uh, it's uh, these Ethrox were probably like the second uh, historical NFT left. So people are seeing that as a, as a a prestige piece to hold and invest in, as well as being part of that nostalgia. Now, it, it does mention here, it's always good to kind of read the whole article. It could just be a bit of hype around this and it could fade away. But what I found is once a group of people uh, invest in something like this, whether it's CryptoPunks, Ethrox, etc., they tend to retain their value because the people who invested in tend to hold and continue to grow the community. It's not as if it's one of these um, copies of Bored Apes, for example, you know, a clone copy, 1000 JPEG, where people try and invest quickly to make a quick buck and sell their stuff and move out and uh, move on. So when people do that, prices go up very quickly, then down, catch stuff, and people are left holding the bag who spent a lot of money for something that's essentially worthless. That hasn't been the case with Ethrox or CryptoPunks or things like that. But it's just to point out here that people do put a premium on that kind of first or second appearances of things on NFT formats. In this case, it's just a, a rock JPEG, but it's one of the second ever NFT projects on and out there on the web. And why that's important going back to uh, Batman Black and White is because he is FA Batman, now going to be our first appearance of Batman, and it is the first NFT on Vivi. There's going to be a, a huge uh, interest in this in the future and a huge nostalgic factor for us. And people just wanting to own a piece of history, really. Whether that's because of the first edition, first appearance of Batman, or in fact it's the first NFT on Vivi. So just imagine a few years' time just now, that 7, 8k search now could easily be going for 700,000, 800,000 in the future. Simply just based on what other NFTs in the past are going for now. So it's really important to keep that in mind when we are investing. We're still very much early days in investments into Vivi. And what we're seeing just now in terms of price rises could be nothing compared to what's out there and what's coming in the future. Again, not financial advice, just my own personal opinion. Personally, I don't own a Todd. I'd, I'd love to. If all the collectibles on the app, Todd would be one I'd go for over Walt and anything else. Just because I know in my heart that that nostalgic factor, own that piece of history, the first NFT and the first Batman NFT, those two things together make us so unique and so desirable in the future that people just now who are eight years old 
when you're older and 20 years from now and you're a million years, these are the kind of things we'll be able to kind of pick up and hold because 20 years from now, this is still going to be the first Batman NFT. It's still going to be the first NFT on Vivi. So it's going to be retain a huge amount of value and that's just going to grow over time. So I would highly recommend anyone out there. I've set myself a, a personal ambition of owning at least one Todd one day. Hopefully I don't have to pay 800000 to get it. Hopefully I can pick up much cheaper than that. So I will be making videos in the future about how to make quick profits on VV, turn some gems into more gems, doing flips and stuff like that. And just really learn from other people in the community, like VV Vault and VV Vision. If you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out, it lets me know the value of this content. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments if you think this won't go to those outrageous prices I talked about. Let me know what you think in a year, 10 years, what you think the first appearance of Batman, the first NFT on VV will go for. In the meantime, please do check out this video here, it's been very popular on the channel. Or you can check out this video here, I'm sure you love it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.